new feature that we added in NetScan Tools Pro version 11 is the ability to send ARP packets out of the Packet Generator tool. So the Packet Generator tool right here has the ability to send various different packet types. As you can see, we've also added the raw packet type. I'll talk about that in a different video. I'm going to select ARP. So when you press this to send a manual set of ARP packets, you see up here first the destination MAC address to send it to. You can send it to any of these presets. I'm going to send it to the uh, broadcast address. These are the MAC addresses of my sending interface, my sending IP address, and these little P's mean that you can paste an IP address in there. Now I can also specify the target MAC address and IP address there. There's the other header fields that you can specify. And as you can see, here's the values right here. You can also press these buttons for various presets. So I'm going to press this and say send packet, and then we'll go see what it actually looks like. We sent three packets. So we'll go into Wireshark here, and we'll stop. And you can see that we were sending a reverse reply. And if we go back, you can see that it was hardware address 6, protocol length 4, and operation 4. So we'll go back. There's your hardware size protocol, and the operation is reverse reply 4. Various things that we had plugged into the other things like the IP address and the MAC addresses are all there. And as you can see, we sent three packets. So that kind of sums up the ARP tool that's part of the packet generator. And it's new in version 11. Another one, as I mentioned, is the raw packet sending. And that's very important because you can send any sort of packet. Now in the ARP packet, again, you can send ARP requests, reply, and even the old reverse ARP request replies. And that's what we had sent in this demonstration.